The purpose of this startup trip was to show the Frankies who they are by learning about the family that came before them and visiting the places they started up. Just got to London. We are so excited. We're here to do a startup trip. We're doing a startup trip for the Frankie family to show them the people and the places they started up from. Family history. Lesson one: Your ancestors rode this very train in 1805. <laughs> I said, like, "What?" <laughs> and we're here to meet them at the National Gallery, and we're late, so we got to go. <laughs> Johnny researched Kevin's famous royal ancestors and decided to take us to the National Portrait Gallery. We're in the Portrait Gallery uh, in London and we're here looking for Kevin's family and I asked them if they knew any of these famous people that Kevin's related to and they said, yeah, they're all on the second floor. James Stewart, your 13th Let's see if we can find them. They're all here on the James second floor. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. I mean, it's like generations ago. But he has yeah, a pouty lower lip. Just saying. We are standing in front of the National Portrait Gallery. And for me, it was like a giant family reunion. That's right. Because I learned that I'm directly, not just like partially, directly related to many of the individuals whose portraits are right in there. This is your 14th great grandfather, direct. So wow. that is uh, direct in your family line. This is all of Kevin's family. James Stewart, Charles Stewart, Henry the Seventh, Henry the Eighth, and who? The Queen. The Queen. Queen Mary. Queen Mary. Queen Mary. I'm directly related. Dang. <laughs> I'm like royal. <laughs> I feel so royal. Bow to me. <laughs> creepy. But awesome! It's nice to know that I can come to the National Gallery of Portraits and hang out with my ancestors. The easiest way for anybody to do the same thing that we just did with Kevin is you go into Family Search and you enter your own information of your relatives and the second you get to somebody who's passed away, you enter their death date and from there it just spreads and then you can see it almost as far back as, as Kevin was able to see. But the thing about Kevin, he's related to a lot more European royalty than anybody I've ever met. So it was fascinating to do that. So once you enter up to somebody who's passed away in Family Search, you take that same Family Search login that you created. It's a free website. You then go over to relativefinder.org, put in the same username and password, and you can search specifically by European royalty or you can search by signers of the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution or other notable celebrities as long as you have somebody who's passed away. Again, it's simple, so I know you can do it if I can do it. It's not that hard to use. That was a cool experience. I I was nervous. I was, I was nervous because it was like, I'm going to go meet an uncle I've never met before or something, but that was really cool. That was a cool experience. The 7th was one of my direct great-grandfathers, and King Henry the 8th was one of my um, great-uncles. So I came through his sister's line. 
Prince Henry, look at this. This little kid is like a 12 year old kid. Here's Henry the, here's Henry the eighth, right? Yeah. 14th great uncle. That's my unk. That's your uncle. That's my unk Henry. <laughs> We're here at Leicester Square for a meetup with Ruby and Kevin. They're on YouTube as eight passengers, and they have viewers all over the world that have been watching their family for years. The lady that sold me a Diet Coke at Hamilton, um, she was like, are you with those guys? Because I follow them on YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, they're just recognized everywhere, it's crazy. So we're doing a meetup, and a meetup is when they go to a location and announce it on Instagram, and then all of their viewers come and meet them. So we're going to be here for the next couple of hours, and Ruby's going to meet the people that are here for them, and we are hoping, in the meantime, we can talk to people about their family history and see if they filled out a family search family tree, so then we can see how we are related. And to Kevin. Is that is that just to me or to Kevin? So too? both of you, I think. Mm. Oh wow! Yeah, we're that both just... cousins. So. <laughs> that is so cool. Awesome yeah. cousin. Good job. <laughs> hey, cousin. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I I only did it today because I didn't think that I'd have any relation. My very favorite thing about the meetups was seeing people download the app and get excited about family history. Click on this. If I click on him, it's gonna show me basically the path that he took his whole life, oh, where wow. he was born, and then where he traveled. This is so great. That's incredible. And then it'll show me where he moved, wow. and then where he's buried. Like, it is a hobby, right? You, yeah. There's so much you can do with it. I, I feel like I'm gonna become addicted by this. This is very dangerous. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's dangerous. You could really spend a lot of time on that like, app. You can. <laughs> so open your browser and go to Relative Finder. So then you hit sign in. It says show groups. If you click like, European royalty, you could, you'd you yeah. be able to go down and see how you're related. And I loved hearing the startup stories of everyone that came to see Ruby and Kevin. Relativefinder.org. Uh, and you can see who's related. Yeah, so we put in European royalty and Kevin had all sorts of royalty. So we went to the National Portrait Gallery, we went to the Tower of London and just everything in there was Henry the Seventh, Henry the Eighth. Oh, I saw that Ruby yeah, said they had the title. same chin. <laughs> did, you, did you say like that guy looks like you? Yeah, it actually <laughs> had some though, resemblances. That was a it's yeah. super weird. I, I told all these guys that you've been bossing the trend like a king, oh. and so I just grabbed that from Burger King. Isn't that great? I just need a scepter now. <laughs> I'll, I'll look for one. Okay. Okay. So they're my dad's cousins, okay. or second cousins, yeah. but they have my same my surname. So, and we for sure we for sure know it's them because he knows their first name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And you found that because of of the app, the family tree app. Yeah. If I was looking for family here, especially because this is where I can't just travel here to find <laughs> it, um, then I can search for people. But if you are around and you just hit add, oh, nice. you can just take headstone photos for people. So oh. like, if you're just walking past a graveyard, just hop in and That's just great. like take the pictures yeah. and, and then we'll add. might be able to find uh -huh. their ancestors that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah, so That's like, so cool. instead of I us... I goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> I have cousins who are blonde and blue eyes. No that have no... We don't know how. So, so there's there like, there's two generations. Like explanation. Every family has scandal. Oh, right? It Every must family. Be. Where did she come? Where did they come from? Where did this DNA come from? <laughs> I, well, there was somebody that was messaging me that was saying like, 
I just found out that the person I thought was my birth father is not my birth father. Okay. How do you, you problem this how scandal? You get, <laughs> how, I'm trying to tell people, find this scandal. Find it because you want to understand where you come from and why you are the way you are. On our last day in London, we also went to Roots Tech and met up with Trace. We're here outside of Roots Tech London. We're gonna go inside, see if we can find Trace Travel, and see what other things we can teach Ruby and Kevin about to use to find their family. Roots Tech is a conference where you can come and learn about your genealogy and all the tools that are out there to help you discover your startup story newspapers, grave sites, genealogy from anywhere in the world. This conference has people there to help you and it has tools to make it easier. All right, let's go inside. I would never look this guy up if I didn't know he was my third great grandfather. We're at Roots Tech in London and this is the trade show floor and I want to explain some of the favorite tools that I use. I always start with Family Search. I start there because it's free and it's got the easiest layout to add names. But when I really want to start researching, I come over here to Ancestry. Ancestry is awesome with searching for documents and searching different records. And that's really when you start seeing a story unfold. So I love Ancestry. We are looking for somebody at Trace Travel who helps do a lot of the digging in Ruby's family tree. And she doesn't know it, but we are going to be traveling around UK using information that Trace has provided for us. So we need to find him and we have to see what he has. Trace will take your itinerary, where you're going, where you already uh, know you want to be, and then we'll do the genealogical research and have uh, thought through experiences for you in each of those places so you can discover more about who you are on the trip that you're already going on. Trace Travel is this entirely new thing that we get to use and Ruby got to be the guinea pig for this. This is a website that you can go to and look at what they put together for you. They have your life information and then you can click on a location that you want to go and they, using their professional genealogists, put together these places and these stories so you have your startup story here. You don't have to go do all the research, you can use them to help you. This is amazing. It tells you the experience you can have, the places you can visit, and then the history behind all of it. So you can see just why it pertains to you. And it's new, nobody's doing this. Ruby has one ancestor, Andrew Walker Heggie, that she feels a particular connection to. Trace gave her a packet of information on her English and Scottish ancestors that includes some of his journal entries that she's never seen before. Uh, so there's unique records here that uh, a professional genealogist found in the archives for you. Oh my gosh! Uh, a lot of these are tied to an experience that you'll you'll be able to go on with Paige, I think, yeah. uh, where you can actually walk down the street your ancestors lived on. Um, oh my gosh! We also have churches, I think, lined up that you'll be visiting where there's yes. a cemetery and a, yeah. a tombstone of some of these people. And then on our website, we've got a whole profile built for you that has the stories that are associated with the documents. You may need this, too. This is just a little magnifying glass. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, thank you for all of the work that you've done. Who wrote, who wrote this? Oh. Uh, so this is uh, Andrew's journal. Yes. So if you haven't read that story, this is a, a really touching story. Andrew Hayden? Yeah. Yes. So we've got his, his story on there, and then we found some unique records on his life uh, that we couldn't find online. We actually had to go in the archives. And, really? Yes. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait! I'm really excited for your trip. You know it's what? like, it's as if your family like means something to me. You know what too? Right. Is <laughs> these stories, and, and I don't even know all of them, but they have been affecting our lives yeah. before we even came on this trip. Right. Like since July, these names have been like coming up and, and affecting our children yeah. and us. And now we get to go 
on this trip, it's... Yeah, it'll be, it'll be touching. Goodbye London. Here's to figuring out driving on the opposite side of the road in the opposite side of the van through the opposite turn in the roundabouts. Next on our journey, we'll continue through Northern England to discover more of where Ruby and Kevin's family started up. Did you find it? It's right here. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> okay, it led me. 